my name is Athena, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you my cleaning up routine. And if you want to watch this video, please keep watching. First, what I do, I have just written a to-do list and I try to follow the, it. And then I put music on and dress some dark clothes. So, let's begin! I don't know why, but I usually start from the kitchen. I like to clean from the top down, so I will dust from the highest points and then I clean all the surfaces, tables, stools. Then I concentrate on putting everything away. Dishes, dishes, fruits, food, etc. Then I clean all stools, I put them away to make floor washing more easier and when I have a super extreme cleaning up day, I use dishwasher. And to be honest, other days I don't like to use it. The next step is to clean up the fridge. I put all away and clean all shelves. I, then I do something like a um, space organization. And yes, then I clean the stove and oven. Of course I can't forget about um, cleaning my microwave. And when I finish to clean everything, I prepare my kettle, I clean it too and I fill it with water. And then I put the kettle on. Time to clean my kitchen sink and if you clean it with Clorox like me, don't forget to use a disposable gloves because it's really necessary. Then I dust from the window seal and usually I do it in all my rooms and yes, then I change my garbage box and clean it really good so and then I hit on into rooms and make beds open all windows to air out all rooms and then I really like to reorganize clothes and I used to make tidying up this Maria Kondo's top tips of organization and I like Honda's minimalist approach to cleaning. So now I'm really a minimalist, so we don't have a lot of things, clothes that we don't need, really don't need. And I just starting to buy only necessary things. So then I want to clean mirrors, windows, etc. And now you can see I'm in the room of my daughter. And yes, I make her bed. Then I like to reorganize Sophie's clothes. And um, then I hit on into boys' room. And yes, as usual, I make pets first. And only then I make the same reorganized clothes, etc. The best ways for hiding children's toys are first, reorganize all your toys. Second, some of them you can hide, but frequently used toys are usually live on low shelves. And if your house is not for something like organized state because of kids' toys, you can sell some toys on over up or you can make something like a carriage cell. Then I want to clean mirrors, windows and fan blades. 
when it's really an extreme cleaning up day so i like to clean all doors and handles Now I want to dust everywhere and after that I usually start to vacuum the floor. Then I move on to the bathroom, I clean it with a Clorox, but first I have to put on my lovely disposable gloves and i really highly recommend you to use disposable gloves every time when you use something like a chlorox etc Yes, only then when I finished to dust, to vacuum and to clean everything with Clorox, I finally do the floor. I like to fill up a basket with water and clean the floor. So it was really amazing cleaning up day and I hope that you like this video with me then I want to show you the result. My husband has just called me and he said that they are on the way right now so and I have just finished my cutting up and that is a result i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below i really hope that you like this video now i have i want to show you all rooms after my cleaning up